All right, let's try this again. I'll try not to hit stop on accident. NCAA removes game official at halftime because of conflict, a, a background conflict. You see this right here? And this is from today, um, Saturday, March 23rd. All right. And I don't know if we're going to hit on everything as good as we did when I failed the first attempt at doing this. We did pretty nice. It kind of sucked the energy out of it, but that's okay. Um, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna present. Okay. So NCAA removes game official at halftime because of background conflict, right? We'll get into it here. Is it, it is March Madness right here. You see it right there. NC State and, uh, the Wolfpack versus the Chattanooga Moccasins, or they go by Mox, however you want to put it. This is the referee who does the replacing. And there you see Tommy Paris right here with the conflict. They found out she had a master's degree out of Chattanooga. Okay, and that's a no-no. Um, it wasn't fully disclosed, I guess, before entering the tournament. And this is Angelica Suffren. She look, Tommy Paris was removed from the tournament first round game and replaced by Angelica Suffren, who had worked the first contest at this site. Okay, and um, let's go over here. Let me scroll down, and you see it right there. An online profile for Paris says that she received a master's degree from Chattanooga. The NCAA asks all officials who are being considered for the tournament to disclose the school affiliates to avoid potential conflicts. In this case, it wasn't disclosed, right? There was a switch of game officials. It says right above at halftime. It says umpire to Tommy Paris had a background conflict. Okay, so you see that. Right. <clears throat> let's and let's let me pull this up. Look at the score. Right there. Notice soaking some of the numbers that you see. And um, I'll show you how it hits if you don't see it. Look at the 14 and the three with those rankings. I want to look at my numbers on the side real quick and try not to hit stop. I just kind of want to see if I had a 143 here. Oh, 141, 142, not quite. That's okay because we don't. Wow, another 142. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, I'm looking on the side here. All right, let's play some of this. Let's play some of this right here and just see what they're doing. Let's see. Looks like they practice the script well. You know, that's why they that's why they do practice, okay? Well synchronized. Yeah, well synchronized there. <clears throat> Boom. Okay, nails the the little was that kind of like a floater jumper ish? Let's see. Let's get one more in real quick. Okay. Nice three pointer. Hopefully, you know, we get away with that. Right. We, we'll try to be sneaky with that footage. Let me get a sip of the coffee here. All right. So let's go back over here. All right. And what else did I hit on the fly in the last one? I can't even remember. I'm still upset that I hit stop on accident. That's okay. If we don't hit it again, we don't. Man, yeah. So let's just go back over here. Look at this right here. 
Okay, so here's Angelica suffering, and we're going to get into Tommy Paris right here. Look. So apparently she went to Furman right there, and she, she was a player, it looks like. She wore the number five. And this pulls up when I do some research here. It says, um, with 13 years of experience in DEI, employee communications and engagement initiatives, Tommy thoughtfully engages business leaders on initiatives that reveal and reinforce the fact that workplace diversity is an asset to the business. She creates workplace experiences that honor the richness of our stories. But it says um, she served as director of DEI for Southern Gas or Southern Company Gas, the, the natural gas subsidiary of Southern Company. Tommy managed the employee resource group program. Look at that, which ranked number five out of 10 that's just interesting and then the uniform five uh i don't see a year in there but i guess that's a part of the character's history right and notice how she's born in 1984 right there you see that umpire two equals 84 ordinal the alphabet forwards and it says right there, there was a switch at halftime. They learned after the game had started that umpire two Tommy Paris had a background conflict. That if were known would prevent her from working the game, I guess. Right. And just look at that 84, like the birth year. What are the odds? And then Angelica Suffren steps in to replace 84 in reverse reduction. We're only using the four ciphers here. Forwards reverse with the reduction. 84, just like the one she replaces, born in 84, umpire 284. And it was supposed to be another character, but I guess the experience kept that character out of the game and they went with Suffren because they had to have someone with experience, more experience, I guess, apparently. Saturday equals 28. This game's today, Saturday. This is trending. There's not even like updating news on it. I mean, I'm not saying it's like the most popping game. I'm just saying, right? It's trending. Look, Suffren assessed a fourth quarter technical to the coach of the Moccasins, Chattanooga. Look at that. Look at the score, 50 to 28. 28. They were trailing. They only had 28. Saturday equals 28. Two months, eight day span right here from um, Tommy Paris, the one who got replaced from her birthday to the game. Two month, eight day span. Saturday, 28. The technical foul from the replacement, 28 points um, his team had. Right. And we'll get into that character as well a little bit more. And what about they said that here she is right there, Tommy Paris. You see, look, they said she attended Furman, right? Where is it at? Look at uh, right there. Team Furman. Look at when I enter it. Right here, look, check this out. 28. How about that? More 28s. You know, it's like... Just pile it on. See that? And they have 28 wins. Look, and they have 28 wins. Look at the reflection. Umpire 2 equals 82. Reverse the alphabet. Z is 1, A is 26. Okay? Because of a background conflict, this replacement, right? 
Look at the sync up. Conflict syncs up with Umpire 2 with 37. And look, 82 and 44 with NC State, right? So you get both of the teams. What's going on with the numbers? This numbers thing is... This is the most incredible thing I've ever learned, okay? Um, and my name is Matthew. Like math. Look at that. Madness equals 42 like Chattanooga and background. Amazing. Chattanooga, 57 as well like background. And if we go back over here, Moccasins, 57. That's the nickname for Chattanooga, right? And look at, you get the reflection with Technical 75. Look at Technical Foul has the 57, right? And this coach was assessed a, a Technical right here. You see that? Head coach of Chattanooga. Look at the 22nd. You see that right there? Wow, he led Chattanooga to its 22nd 20 win season in the 49th year of women's basketball at UTC. That's what this says right here. And if we go over here again, technical foul equals 222, basketball equals 22. Okay, y'all? I just want you to see it. And look how basketball equals 68 right there. Okay? Reverse reduction. Look at the cipher. See it right there? Now look what happens when I go over here. All of it, all of this Angelica suffering. 68, 68 photo, 68, 68, 68. You see that? Hello. My name is Matthew J. O'Connor, or you can call me Math 2 Con, right? Daily Decodes 81. This is kind of what we're doing, okay? You see? Get some more clips in, y'all. What's up with Caitlin Clark? What's she doing? She had the 20, 27 points, if I'm not mistaken. Nice. There's the number 22 right there. Was that NC State? Okay, so they're... Oh, yeah. So they were... Had the upper hand, it looks like, here um, throughout. 19-point lead right there. Wow. 24-point lead. And just pure domination up by 25 right there. Let me pause it real quick. Just wide open. Hmm. All right, what, let's go see what what else do we got over here. Let me make sure I hit all the tabs that I got. Oh, and there's the nickname, Moccasins. Mock is the shortened version. They say the mocks, though, right? Oh, okay. It also refers to the Northern Mockingbird, Tennessee State Bird. I see that. I see that right there. Okay. There's the coach again. Sean, look at how it says watch 2 slash 22. Look at how, hey, so you see everything right now connect by the numbers, right? Look how it says over there, watch 2, 22, February 22. And technical foul 222, and it said the 22nd 20 win season he led them to. Come on, y'all. Basketball 22. Shh. Oh yeah, what what else do I? What's over here again? Here, let's look. Let me look at that. Look at that right there, Tommy Paris. Look at the card right there. Got my mom's birthday right there. 
There's going to be some connection there I'm missing. What was the name of the... It was like Southwest... Oh, Southern Gas Association. Let me... I'm kind of on the search for 28s and 82s real quick. Southern Gas Association. Let's see. So, or Southern Gas. Okay. Association. Oops. Oh my gosh, that was yesterday's date, 322 right there. Look at the 133. Let's see here. Let's see if this hits. Look at ding, 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 knockout. Southern Gas Association, 133 like Tommy Paris. Oh, 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 it's magic. Magic. Okay. And just suffering. Suck attach. That's the replacement right there. And let's not forget we are still in Women's History Month. And that's huge. When is Women's History Month? And that's huge, right? I almost forgot. Look. I almost forgot. Do you see? Women's History Month right there. Still correct? Yeah. For real. You saw that, right? Yeah, you saw that. Saturday equals 107 like NC State. And that's the Wolfpack right there. You see that? We'll, we're gonna have, we'll have to enter that. Okay, you see it right there, Saturday. And the same cipher is reverse. Z is 1, A is 26. Look, add up the score of the game. The Wolfpack pull out the victory here, right? I guess not really a surprise from what I'm seeing. <clears throat> Man, they had 28 wins and that connection, that was wild. For real, look at 64 to 45, added up 109 Saturday. You also get the 109 alphabet forwards. I mean, how amazing. You see that 28 with the 82 reflection right there. And uh, what was it? Furman equals 28. Two month, eight day span from Paris's birthday to the game right here. Saturday 28, the technical foul assessed when they had 28 points. Poppy with the moccasins. Look at all of that, y'all. Look how we hit. Okay, now let's go back and finish it off. And I think I did, I think I covered, and we may have hit better. You know, we came back strong. Uh, we came back strong, and I don't want to get cocky. But, yeah, I was almost done with this and then hit the wrong button. I'm like, damn, I still had some slides. Let's put NC State Wolfpack over here. And let's, let's see if it hits. I didn't really um, look at NC State. Let's do that. Look at that. You get 82 right there. I don't think that we hit on that. And look at the, look at that. Look at the 44. And I think the 107, does that all hit? I don't think that that, if that, I don't, I don't think that was in there. NC State 107, like Saturday. I, and if it was, oh yeah, it might have been. But that's okay, right? Uh, I'll put Wolfpack. Conflict 82 and 44 like NC State. Let me scroll down. Oh, yeah, and then you get the 82 right there. Umpire 2. NCAA 19 like NC State. Okay, let me put Wolfpack real quick. And the we had the Michigan Wolverines who beat the Huskies in football for the national title. You know, we've had some Timberwolf decodes. Look at that. Oh, I put the wrong. It's Wolfpack. My bad. Right there. Look at that. 
NC State Wolfpack equals 83, okay? And that's the reverse reduction cipher. Again, take a look at it. Reverse with reduction when you reach the 10th letter, and then so on with all the double digits, the 11th, the 12th, the 13th. Look at the 83 right there. NC State Wolfpack. This game, the 83rd day of the year, March 23rd. You see that right there? And you get 16 numerology with Tommy Paris, the one who got replaced. Again, a master's degree out of Chattanooga, which wasn't disclosed, and you can't you can't do that, right? Now you're gonna, you know, you're gonna ref. You see 16 numerology on both sides, the game and the last birthday. You see the 61. The reflection. Look at the 50 numerology. Remember it was 50 to 28 when Poppy was assessed the technical foul which all synced up with the 22s, remember? And that, that's amazing. I showed you that, right? Right? Add up the score, 109. That's just, that is super wild, 64 to 45 with Saturday equaling 109. And that's like 19. NCAA equals 19. This is where I stopped it on accident the first time. That's, look at it, y'all. Look. Sean Poppy said he learned at halftime the change with the refs. Halftime 142 like Sean Poppy. Okay? 61 and 47 Sean Poppy like official. NCAA removes game official at halftime. Look at that. Right? And what else is up there? The 47? Sean Poppy and official? All of it's there. The 155, 61, 142. They literally just got me in the locker room. And said they were making a change, Chattanooga coach Sean Poppy said, of when he learned at halftime. Look. Welcome to Chattanooga. My mom's birthday, 728. We hit on the southern gas thing, right? Damn. So there's going to be more with that character there, right? Because I don't think they mentioned any of that in the article. Now, who, who are these teams playing next? Is one team already playing again? I don't know how this tournament thing... Let me look. Again, let's go look at this right here again. 28. That, was, that 28 connection was solid with the 82 reflection. For real, huh? So let's look at, let me see, let's do this. So let's look at the winner, NC State Wolfpack. NC State Wolfpack, next game, Women's March Madness. Oh, look, the Tennessee Volunteers. That's interesting because they just played Chattanooga, Tennessee, right? Let's check that out real quick. It says Monday, March 25th. Time to be determined. Let's put Tennessee volunteers in there real quick and just take a look. Let's see. Tennessee 106. Wow. All, and there's 47. But look, 106 like that 16 again with the ref. That's interesting. Volunteers. Hmm. Look at that 151. Oh, it was 155, my bad. Before. That's what I was thinking of. So I guess um we're good. Who does um Chattanooga? So Chattanooga's done, huh? Right? 
So is that how it works? <laughs> it's like one and done, right? Is it one and done in March Madness? I'm pretty sure it is, right? If you lose one game in March Madness, you lose the tournament, right? Okay, I guess I should know that, right? Oh, look. Single elimination, which means Caitlin. Cl oh, they're talking about Caitlin Clark again. What is that? So did they lose or what? Iowa's next game, NCAA women. The exact time for the Iowa versus West Virginia game on Monday has Ooh, yet to I be want, determined. I want that. We're going to have to look at that one. Caitlin Clark's completely synced up with Caitlin Jenner. Gender. Think about it. Look, Hawkeye. Are we still going here? I think we are, right? Let's go back over here. Wide open. I wish I can just sit there and shoot threes all day. That would be fun. Oh, what now? Let me pause it real quick. Let's take... Oh, oh! Uh, that was decent. They tried on defense a little bit, I guess. Okay, y'all. There is always more... The master's degree. I didn't... That's interesting. I mean, I, I put it in. I didn't really see anything. Let me... Let me put it in again and just see... If I missed master's degree, that's what causes. That's interesting because master's equals 49 right there. And it said about Sean Poppy right here. In the 49th year of women's basketball at UTC, led Chattanooga to its 22nd 20 win season. That's interesting. With master. Okay, so good thing we looked at it again, right? And you get the reflection 94. Let's put degree in. Hmm. I feel like we've seen the 58, but that's okay. Look, 139, like Freemasonry with master's degree. Look at that. 77, like United States. Okay. All right, y'all. NCAA removes game official at halftime because of background conflict. We just, we decoded it. Look, you don't need to be all in tune with what, and up to date with what's going on with the trending stories, right? Okay. You just put a little bit of effort into this if you want to make these connections. And it always adds up because the world is ran on numbers. It trickles all the way down to mine and yours life. Ask me about it, okay? Appreciate y'all. And tomorrow will be 3 slash 24. March 24th, Peyton Manning's birthday. Keep your eyes peeled. And I'll be back. I'll be back shortly with another one. Until then.